Hello, everyone. Our lesson for today is rescuing our reefs. And the reef is a ridge of sand, rock, or coral just below or above the sea. In our lesson, we are going to read more about a reef that is underwater. As you can see here in the picture, there is a photographer shooting so many pictures underwater in a special reef. While reading this lesson, we'll know more about the ecosystem of a reef and why the reef needs help. Don't forget that the genre is narrative nonfiction. Our lesson is found in our reading book of wonders on page 122. Sitting on the side of the boat, the photographer fixes her scuba tank and mask. She waves to a man in a fishing boat. Then she dives backwards into the clear waters of the Florida Keys. She swims, breathing through her regulator. A large, colorful coral reef is laid out before her eyes. Sea anemones, red hindfish, goody parrotfish, yellow angelfish, and other animals ignore her as they go about their business. Life in this reef has flourished and grown. Connections The photographer knows that plants and animals in reef ecosystem need each other to survive. Reefs are made up of billions of tiny animals called coral polyps. Plants like algae live inside the coral. The algae use a process called photosynthesis to turn energy from the sun into food for themselves and the coral. In return, the coral gives the algae a home and the carbon dioxide needed for photosynthesis. Algae are a part of the food chain called producers. Producers make their own energy. The photographer sees a blue and yellow parrotfish nibbling at the coral. She takes a picture. The parrotfish breaks apart the coral to get to the algae-filled polyps inside. In a food chain, the parrotfish is a consumer. Consumers cannot produce their own energy. As the parrotfish eats the algae, energy is passed through the food chain. In the distance, the photographer notices the long silver body of a barracuda lurking. The sea grass ripples in the current, swaying back and forth. It almost hides the hungry predator. She snaps a photo and swims on. Coral bleaching. The photographer shoots more photos as she swims. The reef must have looked like this hundreds of years ago. But then she stops and stares at a big area of bleached white coral. Once colorful, the whitish coral now looks like the broken pieces of a crumbled castle. Coral depends on a natural balance to stay healthy. Climate change and pollution can cause an imbalance. Some areas have dried up from droughts while others have had more rain. Too much sun and warmer ocean temperatures can cause coral bleaching. If pollution gets into the water or the water gets too warm, the relationship between the coral and algae breaks down. The algae stop making food. The coral ejects the algae. The algae are what give the coral its color. The coral loses its color. It starves because it needs the algae to make food for it. A food chain shows the transfer of energy from one species to another. As you can see here, the sun is the energy source. The algae is the producer and the fish are the consumer. Many plants and animals depend on the coral for food and shelter. As more and more coral reefs die, many animals and plants that live in these reefs may become extinct. The beautiful reef the photographer had seen earlier would resemble the white, crumbling reef before hair. Balancing Act She turned and swam back to the boat. Later today, she would send hair photographs to the Nature Conservancy. It is an organization that works to rescue our fragile reefs. 
scientists there are trying to rebuild the reefs by attaching small pieces of staghorn coral to concrete blocks. Staghorn coral is used to grow new coral. Once the coral grows, the blocks are planted in the reefs. The photographer hopes her pictures will help spread the word. They show the relationship between pollution, climate change, and coral bleaching. She breaks through the water's surface and climbs into the boat. I got some good shots of the healthy reef and the sick reef, she shouts to her partner. Once aboard, she immediately begins putting her photos on her laptop.